The next thing I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm sitting on a ball or anything that's the right height to get you at a good height for threading. Um, second, I'm going to raise my harnesses so that the eyes or the heddles are up where I can see them better. So I'm going to lift all the eight harnesses into a box under there. It could be a, a, a uh, shoe box, um, books, anything that will lift this up to a, a height that's comfortable for you. Um, I have to get my dry. I'm threading a turn twill on two blocks. This first group, I, for this next group in my draft, I counted out 28 threads, and I'm going to count out the 28 heddles I need for the seven groups of four um, in the block, eight, seven, six, five, seven times. So I'm counting out seven heddles on harness eight, seven heddles on harness seven, uh, seven, seven heddles on six, and seven heddles on five. One more. So by the time I'm finished threading this group, all these heddles should be gone. And that's one way of helping to check to make sure I haven't made a mistake. I'm going to pull the groups that I have not threaded yet back up in between this group I've counted out and the other group just so they don't slide back into the pack. Now this thread group of threads is 28 threads that I've pre-counted. I'm going to take the first small group, which is an 8765, pull them over, and I'll start threading. Now, I always hold these under tension, and I, and rather than reaching up here and trying to pick out a thread, I pull the group away, and one thread becomes free. And then I fold it a little loop and thread. And here I'm pulling away on the, the group away by pulling on the bottom, and it frees the next thread. And I pull on the top of the group, and it frees the next thread. So now I've threaded eight, seven, six, five. I'll pull over the next small group. I'll do the same thing. Pull on the bottom, thread through eight. Pull on the top, thread through seven. Pull on the bottom, thread through six. Pull on the top, thread through five. And now I've got the last group of four threads in this block. Eight, seven, six. Oh, I have an extra heddle. That tells me I counted wrong. <laughs> I either counted my heddles wrong, um, or I counted my threads wrong, or I've made a mistake. So we're going to check. I would always check anyway, but we'll see if I've missed a heddle somewhere. So let's check. The way I normally would check a group after I threaded it is I look at the draft again to make sure what I'm looking for, and then I thread eight, seven, six, five, eight, seven, six, five. This allows me to check for anything that's crossed as well. Eight, seven, six, five, eight, seven, six, five, eight, seven, six, five, eight, seven, six, five, eight, seven, six, five. So I do have indeed, this extra heddle was on harness five, and I do indeed have seven heddles on harness five. So uh, that was just a mistake in counting the heddles. The next group is this little group of 12. So before I go there, I'm going to mark off what I just threaded on my draft. This keeps me from accidentally threading it twice. And the next group is this group of three sets of four, three, two, one. I have pre-counted. 12 threads, and now I pull over three heddles on each of those four harnesses, four, three, two, and one. I pull the group I'm not using yet up in between, and then I pull over my small group, four, three, two, one. Now, same, I continue with the same thing. I pull the group away from the one thread. I pull the group away from the next thread. I'm threading a three, and on I go. Once you get used to the 
method of threading, it becomes quite fast. I may not be the fastest threader in the world, but I do thread fairly efficiently. And the advantage to counting out heddles, counting out threads, and checking each group before you go and marking it off on your draft is that it keeps you from making mistakes. You might make a mistake in this one group, but you'll fix it before you go on. And should you discover a threading error after you've got it on the loom, if you've counted out threads and heddles, then at the very least, that's one group where you've made a mistake, you should have all the right heddles and just be able to rearrange things. And that's the last group. So I'm check four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. I slip knot them together and I mark them off on my draft. 